Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to do a extra video for my fire tutorial because someone in the comments asked, how do I slow down the flame? And I didn't really address that in the original video series. So I didn't have a straightforward answer for that. So I found some settings in Blender that will help slow this down. So currently I have the flame playing in Blender and I've got the resolution of the viewport a little low because I want to be able to get a pretty good frame rate for this so you can see what it looks like. And this is the same Blender file that I ended part two with. So if you followed along, you should have the same file. So I'm going to pause that and I'm going to go into some of the settings. So I'm going to click on emitter and I'm going to go to the particle system. And I'm going to go to the emissions section. And the first thing I want to do is change the number of particles being emitted from 3000 to 300. And again, this is the number of particles that are being created from the particle emitter. So this will cut down quite a bit on the number of those being released. The next thing I want to do is increase the timeline to get a better look of what it's going to look like when we make the changes. So above the timeline where it says end, I want to click in there and change that to a thousand. And then in the emitter where it says frame start and frame end, I want to change that from 300 to 1050. So that way the particles will continue on even after our timeline ends. So we'll have a better opportunity to look at them. Can okay, I hit play? Okay, right now it's a little more jerky because there's fewer particles being emitted. So I'm going to stop that. The next thing I want to do is go to, while still in the emitter, I want to open up physics and under damp, I want to change that to 0.25. I'm going to play again. You can see that slowed down quite a bit. But now the particles aren't being released long enough because they're dying out too quick because everything is slowed down. So I'm going to go back to emissions and where it says lifetime, I want to change that from 35 to 85. Now we can see that looks significantly slower, which is what we were going for. So the bottom looks jittery now. So to change that, I want to go to one of the meta balls. So I'll click on the first one, fire. I'll go to the meta ball properties here. And I'll change influence threshold from 4 to 0.3. Now it looks bigger. The flame looks slower. And the bottom's not jumping around near as much. And you'll notice in my viewport that it's still kind of jagged looking. So to show you what that'll look like rendered, I currently don't have a camera on the scenes. So I'm going to hit Shift A to bring up my admin menu. Scroll down to camera, click that. I'm going to hit 7 on my numpad to go to the top. I'm going to click on the camera, hit G to grab it, and Y to constrain it to the Y axis, and I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to hit G to grab it again, and X to constrain it to the X axis, bring it over. And I'm going to hit 0 on my numpad to go back into camera view. Okay, I'm going to hit G, Z to frame this up a little better. And I want to pause this and I'm going to go to render, render image. You can see it's still a little jagged. So if I go back to my meta ball and click on render and viewport, and I'm going to click it to 0 0.05 and render this again, and you can see it's a lot smoother. So if I go back to the viewport view, hit play. You can see that's significantly slower than it was before. So those are some settings to help you slow this down if that's a look you're going for. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe so I can continue providing content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.